surprisingly, the single most successful thing that DC ever had with their DCEU wasn't one of their movies, which except for Aquaman and maybe the first Wonder Woman all underperformed to, to some group degree. Uh, some of them made money, but did not live up to the potential of what they were. But Peacemaker, a show that I admittedly thought was a stupid idea and I admittedly thought looked pretty crappy when they first dropped the first couple of trailers. I admit it. I admit it. It was like maybe the best thing they did other than Man of Steel. And it became like the number one show in the world for while it was running. So it was no real big surprise that when James Gunn and Peter Safran announced the new DCU replacing the old DCEU, that if there was anything they were going to bring over, it was going to be that. But how would Peacemaker fit in and, you know, kind of reconcile what is going to be massive differences between the old universe, the DCEU, and this brand new DCU? Well, apparently the answer was something I didn't think about. Peacemaker Season 1 isn't going to be canon to the new DCU. This comes from the folks at CBR who write the following. Over on Threads, James Gunn stated that Peacemaker Season 1 isn't canon to the DC Universe, also telling an inquiring fan that Season 2, quote-unquote, will take place after the events in the upcoming Superman movie. When another fan asked if it was important and meant that the events in Man of, the Man of Steel's newest in, uh, cinematic outing, which is, of course, the new Superman movie, he said, would be having an impact on Peacemaker Season 2. The filmmaker replied, yes. Okay. So uh, let, let's talk about this for a second. This I didn't see this coming, to be honest with you. Because I always said, if you actually look at the events of Peacemaker Season 1, they are pretty divorced from the DCEU as a whole. I said, the only thing you really got to retcon to make it fit in a new DCEU is that little cameo at the end of Season 1 where Aquaman, Flash, and the silhouettes of Superman and Batman show up and the, the one of the greatest lines in television that year. Fuck you, Barry. That was like one of the greatest lines in television that year. All you really had to do was take that out and you could make an argument that it didn't actually happen in the DCEU, just some DC universe. But what I didn't really think they would do is what James Gunn is saying is just, we're just going to say season one isn't canon to what's going on in the new DCEU. To which somebody may reply, well, then why don't you do that for Wonder Woman? Why, why don't you do that for Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman? Just say, well, it's not, the old Wonder Woman stuff isn't canon, but we can still bring over. Why not do that for my beloved Henry Cavill? Hmm? <laughs> Where's Henry? <laughs> Where's Henry right now? Why didn't you do that for Henry Cavill? I mean, all you had to say is that Man of Steel and the, and the movies he was in was not canon to the DCU. I would propose this, is that I think if you're going to start a new universe, Rob, you start as clean of a slate as possible. I agree. Ideally, completely clean slate. But if you're going to bring anything over, the de facto thing that was the most successful thing you did and had audiences going crazy for it, and that would be so easy to retool and refit so it does just fit in the DCU. I Again, I'm all for totally clean slate, but if you're going to just bring one thing over, this seems to be the thing to bring over. What did you think about uh, James Gunn's comments here? Well, here's here's the thing, John. I think that I think that James Gunn's Superman is all about the tone mm -hmm. that he's going to strike. You know, if you look at Richard Donner's Superman, the first half an hour of the film, especially the stuff in Smallville, is so iconic. It's so Americana, and you've got that great scene where Glenn Ford tells his son. I know that you are here for a reason. And you hear John Williams' great score. I think James Gunn is going for that kind of tone. And I think when you look at Peacemaker, that the tone of Peacemaker, dude, it's awesome. We love Peacemaker. But the tone of the show, I think, is, and I know nothing. I've not read the script. I don't know anything about James Gunn's Superman or what happens. But I think the tone of Peacemaker is probably diametrically opposed to <laughs> what he's trying to do with his Superman movie. And it's like, if we're creating a new universe, there's probably not a place for the tone of Peacemaker, if that makes any sense. Right. You know what I mean? I, 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 I just think when I, dude, we love Peacemaker. <laughs> Come on, we st we could still probably do the dance right here if we were called to do it. But 
I just think the tone of the show is different than what he, he has to create something that appeals to everybody. Peacemaker's R-rated. Very R-rated. It's very R-rated. Yeah. You know, when you, when you do it, you got to make it appeal to the world. And you've got to make it appeal to that mythical, beautiful structure that Superman represents. I think to everybody, not just to America. But I mean, isn't there something to be said to you? Because I think you and I have talked about this before, that an entire cinematic universe does not need to have one uniform tone. No, right? of course not. So like you can have, like for example, I'm sure we haven't seen Deadpool 3 yet. I'm sure it's going to be totally very different than Winter Soldier. Like, I'm sure it's going to be ex extremely different in tone. <laughs> right? Like, completely different. So, yes. <laughs> I mean, maybe this this would be, like, right out of the gate, a, a good way for James Gunn to show, like, we are going to have a cohesive cinematic universe, but we're also going to have a wide variety of programming that with different tones and feels and, and levels. But you're right. I mean, the trick is going to be how do you make them then mesh, right? Yeah. And, and the thing is, if Peacemaker was canon, that tethers what Superman in, in, in I, I Very totally true. agree with yeah. you. You know, right. there, there, it, it, there's something there that they're, people are going to expect. And look, Penguin has its own The Batman universe. Yeah. And this is something it has to be, I think, it has to be fresh. It has to be new. It has to be clean and clear of all baggage because they're doing something new. And if they were, if, if there's some anchor to the past, I don't think they could be as successful doing what they're doing. I agree. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Harry's. You know, guys, in order to start the John Campia show, I had to leave my high paying corporate job in order to set myself up to be happier and enjoy more personal success. Because sometimes to get what you want, you have to challenge the status quo and blaze your own trail. And that's exactly what the folks at Harry's did. You see at Harry's, they saw customers getting ripped off by questionable products in the shaving industry and decided to do something better. Harry's decided to pave their own road by making beautifully designed razors for a fraction of the price of the other big brands, except Exceptional products, honest prices. That's Harry's. I have fallen in love with Harry's from their foaming shaving gel that feels just luxurious on the skin to their incredible razor that feels just as good in the hand as it does going over your skin. They've got rich lathering skin softening body wash and scents like redwood, wildlands, and stone. You see, Harry's provides German engineered blades made in their own factory that stay sharp longer. You can get a five blade razor, weighted handle, foaming shave gel, and a travel cover for just three bucks at harrys.com slash campia. Don't settle for the status quo. Blaze your own trail with Harry's. Get started with a $13 trial set for just $3 at harrys.com slash campia. That's harrys.com slash campia for a $3 trial set. So the question is for you guys. What do you think? James Gunn has said, actually, you know, season one of Peacemaker probably the most successful thing they had in the DCU is not going to be canon here. So it's kind of a clean slate, even for Peacemaker. What do you think about that? What do you think the implications of that are going to be? Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.